Chalk Color 26 and today's video is going to be what you need for a rabbit or what you need to get before you get your rabbit. To start off you're going to need some type of cage unless you are going to have a free roaming house rabbit. Some good cages would be CNC cages like I have here, um, X pens, and there's a lot of other different cages. You just gotta make sure it's big enough for your rabbit. I'm not too sure what the minimum for the cage size is for a rabbit, but there are a lot of good websites that say what it is. There also are some really good rabbit YouTubers such as Budget Bunny and 101 Rabbits. So I'd recommend asking them about rabbit cages as I'm not too sure. My CNC cage here is a two by four. Next, you're going to need some type of food and water dishes. I'd recommend ceramic as they're a lot harder to tip over. Um, a plastic dish, usually if a rabbit tried to put their paws on the top here, they could tip it and the food will go everywhere, the water will go everywhere. For water, you can use a water dish or you can use a water bottle. I prefer a water dish, it's just a lot easier um, for me to refill and that's what Bugs knows how to use. And you're also going to need somewhere you're going to put your hay. Now where I put my hay is in Bugs' litter box, that way he goes to the bathroom in his litter box as well and it just gives him the best access to have it in his litter box. You can also put your hay in a hay rack or a hay bag or a hay box, just depends on what you decide. You are also going to need a carrier. I would recommend um, having a carrier because you're most likely going to have to go to, to the vets at least once during your rabbit's lifetime and it's really good to have some type of carrier or maybe if you need to take them to a pet sitter. A really nice sturdy carrier is always recommended to have. Um, I've used my carrier quite a bit now since I've gotten it to go to the vets and just to take him to upstairs or something. It's just very easy. You are also going to need a litter box. Now I guess this option is optional. But I'd really, really highly suggest you get a litter box for your rabbit because it's so, so, so easy to litter box train your rabbit. And a litter box just keeps the cage a lot cleaner. And you don't have to have a litter box unless you plan on just having bedding so they can go to the bathroom in there. But I really like having the litter box because it's a lot easier to clean out and just less messy. So you can get uh, any cat litter box from your local pet store. I recommend getting a cat litter box because they are a lot larger than the corner rabbit ones that are sold. Those ones are usually too small for a rabbit to go to the bathroom in. So I would recommend getting one about the size I have right there. That is Bugs's cat litter box. You are also going to need some rabbit safe litter and bedding. So you'll need the litter for the litter box and then the bedding for the base of the cage if you have a cage for your rabbit. For the litter, you can get any type of paper based or pellet based. You can use um, wood stove pellets or you can use um, paper based cat litter pellets. Make sure you do not use clumping cat litter or clay litter as that can cause respiratory infections. Um, for the bedding of the base, you can use fleece like I have in the cage right now. Just make sure your rabbit is not a chewer and won't chew the fleece and try to eat it because that can cause a blockage. Bugs has never tried to chew or dig at his fleece, which is why he has it. Um, you can usually just use mats or even just have them on um, wood, like linoleum type things. I've seen a lot of cages um, like that. I just have them on linoleum and ha then have like carpets and things for them to lay on. So you are going to need some type of pellets for your rabbits. Now it's not necessarily that you need the pellets. I'd recommend asking your vet before um, not using pellets because some vets, depending on your rabbit, you will either need to give pellets or you won't. Some rabbits don't need the pellets as they may cause an upset tummy or something like that. So please check with your vet before you do anything like that with their diet. Make sure you've checked and asked them if you can feed them pellets or you, if you don't have to. I feed Bugs um, pellets and he only gets like one eighth of a cup a day. And this is the Oxbow Essentials 
Bunny Basics Adult Rabbit Food. So this is just Timothy based pellets. Next is the most important thing you will need for your rabbit's diet and that is some type of hay, whether it be oat hay, Timothy hay, orchard hay, there are some other hays you can feed your rabbit, but you need hay because this is what you're going to be feeding your rabbit unlimited. Um, rabbits need hay to eat hay or else they can go into GI stasis, definitely not good. So the hay also helps wear down their teeth and prevent them from getting spurs which are in their which can happen to their molars if they don't wear down their teeth and so hay is very important you also are going to need to have vegetables rabbits need fresh veggies every single day and it depends on your rabbit's size um, I think it is two cups I can't remember exactly but I'll leave it on the screen somewhere um, the amount of vegetables depends on your rabbit's weight I will also leave a link down below to a website that has all the safe vegetables that you can feed your rabbit daily. And the last thing you should have for your rabbit is toys. Make sure you get some type of variety of toys. As you can see, this is Bug's favorite toy. <laughs> He's trying to wreck it. I recommend having a lot of different variety toys. Toys are really good for rabbits as it helps them um, stimulate their brain and keep them from getting bored as just like humans they get bored too and they need some type of toy so that they can keep busy and active if they don't have any toys they can easily get bored which will cause them to get into things and they can be really really naughty if they don't have anything to do so make sure you have some type of toys for your rabbit there's a lot of different types like this willow ball there are these cat jingly balls um, my rabbit loves these and there's just wooden toys that you can get and some wooden toys like that there's many different toys you can choose for your rabbit and if you're new to my channel and you're not sure who this is this is bugs my four month old holland lop bunny so yeah guys <laughs> thanks for watching bye